let us say I declare the variable a as done and then print its type if you remember type prints what kind of a variable a is right it is saying integer right okay so uh, I need to tell you people that what we are discussing right now is not very important for a beginner but then for completeness sake we need to um, tell you these things so don't worry much in case you don't understand this uh, really well right now but eventually you will I mean uh, as we reach eighth week or ninth week you may want to go back and then look at what all we discussed so far and then try to see if things make sense to you or not all right so this is slightly advanced but don't worry if you don't understand but make your um, attempt share of attempts to understand what I'm saying so I say a equals 10 and I print the type of it and now I say a equals India okay and then print the type of a so what is your guess initially it was int now it became str remember we were discussing about the jar in your kitchen right you can use the jar to store rice or maybe um, even water for that matter but then we specialize in our uh, in, the, in the containers that we use for storage right we don't use the same container that is used to store rice we, we don't use that to store milk milk uh, container looks different is made of a different material and things like that so similarly a computer tries to store an integer type using a different kind of a memory location and string in a different kind of a memory location moment you say a equals 10 it automatically creates what does it do it creates a particular data type by data type I mean the memory location where it where the value of a is stored right and the moment you say a equals India of course it loses the value of 10 that it was initially assigned to but then it becomes of the type string all right this is this goes by the name dynamic typing you all know what is commenting right now I'll use comment the first line will be dedicated to write what program we are writing okay we are trying to illustrate what we call the dynamic typing the word typing here does not mean the typing of the keyboard the word typing here is the noun form of the word type okay dynamic stands for things can change in python the moment you declare an integer it doesn't stay as an integer you can change a to whatever you want okay it provides flexibility for you to use a variable for something as, a, as an integer and then make it an, a string later on okay the type of a variable is dynamic you can change it as per your wish okay so let me remove this and then illustrate this with a better example let me take a number n equals 10 and then say n equals n by 2 all right carefully observe what happens here I print the type of n and as you would expect it is int only let me clear the screen here clear clears the screen okay so let me print it shows you it's of type int n is of type int is what it's saying now let me print another print statement here and display the type of n now after i divide by 2 let's see what it what it does it says int but the moment you divide it becomes float all right so let me try printing n now n says it's 5.0 now but then here if i were to print n it is it says 10 it doesn't say 10.0 but the moment you divide by 2 it the, the, the moment division happens it realizes that oh oh now the integer might become a non-integer it can become a, a rational number or some real number you know so let me be careful let me allocate let me deallocate that integer let me try to allocate something um, that that is easier for me to contain this object it could be a real number so I will use float float stands for real numbers in, uh, in the language of computers int is integers 1 2 3 4 5 float is 4.3 7.61 all that comes under float all right 
okay so let's see what happens what does python do even if we divide by one even if we divide the moment you use the division operator python makes the number makes the variable float from it being int all right so it changes irrespective of you assigning explicitly you did not do n equals a string you just divided n by one still python was intelligent enough to now change the type to float thinking that oh this chap is doing some division he may continue to do more division let me try making it float to be on the safer side okay this goes by the name dynamic typing again as i repeat not very important at this stage just know it for completeness sake we are trying to teach you this but in case you don't understand you know what to do you go ahead with the other weeks i mean confidently but and then come back and then try to look at these things this will make more sense once you start coding extensively 